Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Let's Try Dawn of Man. Dawn of Man is a new sort of uh, village building survival strategy simulation. It is set at the Dawn of Man. You're going to start in the, I want to say, Paleolithic era. I don't know if those words are right at all. The Stone Age era, and you're going to work your way up all the way into the Iron Age uh, over the course of many, many, many years and generations of playing the game. Let's go ahead and do this. We've got a few different scenarios built into the game. Um, you unlock the later ones by unlocking milestones. You can see here, I haven't played very much. I've only unlocked a couple of milestones, so you need five before you can do the Northlands, which are a lot harder. There's also special challenge modes over here, and the community can go ahead and make scenarios as well and share them on the workshop. I've got a couple over here, for example. So we're going to go and jump into Continental Dawn, which is the very first scenario. And we'll see that. So we got, you know, our settlement name that we can do. So we'll do Brussels. And you can choose uh, where to settle on this starting map. Um, I don't know if there's any significant difference between them. Uh, we'll start on Mountain Lake, that's fine. Game mode, you can have normal over here. So in limited save games, you can pause. Other tribes are always at your same level of technology. Normal amount of raiders, da 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 da. And hardcore, only one save game, and you cannot pause the game. Other tribes progress at their own rate. Larger amounts of raiders and uh, regular animal aggression as opposed to reduced. We'll go ahead and just play a normal over here, but uh, I kind of like the challenge of the other one as well. Just I'm gonna want to be able to pause for a video if nothing else. So yeah, we're gonna start here. I think in the normal scenario, we start with, I wanna say eight people, it might be seven. Seven people in a little tribe. We'll get a mix of different ages and things like that. And uh, there's there's four seasons in the game. And, uh, you know, a big part of it early on is just going to be, can you survive the winter by having enough preserved food? I mean, summer's easy. You can just pick a bunch of berries. But after that, might be a little bit of dicey. So if you like things like RimWorld, if you like things like Banished, um, this is definitely going to be right up your alley. So let's just wait for it to load. I am not on my home computer, so I don't have an SSD. Uh, so load time's a little bit longer here. But the game plays pretty well. Boop, 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 boop. Press any key. Done. And there we go. Here is our little starting area. We can uh, take a little look-see at our people um, that we start off with. We've got uh, Marnuk, an old man. We've got Imond, a girl. Gorkul, an adult man. Belgor. So we've got, we've got a handful of different people in our starting community. They've got different needs for health and nutrition and so on and so forth. Um, they can wear clothing. They can have a sort of knife tool, which is what this biface is. They might have another type of tool, like a weapon in this case. Um, I'm trying to find someone else who might have like a different kind of setup over here. There you go. Uh, you are missing a tool slot item, for example, so we might look at constructing that. All right, let's pause real quick and look around the world. So we've got this nice little lake here. We're surrounded by these sort of mountains because that's where we started. That seems fine and swell. So. First priority is certainly going to be some nutrition um, and also some extra building material. I do have to give these guys kudos for a really interesting um, idea with the user interface. So over in the top left corner over here, we've got, you know, some of the resources we've got. And then over here, we've got some situation, some information about our people. So we actually only got a capacity for six people because of our tents here. If we want more people to join our settlement, we'll have to build some more tents. Um, people can also have babies, but early on, I think a lot of it is just like other nomads joining you. And then as your settlements gets bigger and bigger, uh, your population is going to expand a lot more just from uh, people having babies. We've got knowledge over here that we accrue by doing things, and we use this to unlock new technologies and advance the eras, current temperature, and the current season. But you see these like little plus buttons and stuff like that? That lets us bring in sort of like more, more information, um, you know, charts if we wanted. So we could have a bunch of different stuff going on. Uh, and then we can go ahead and just uh, shrink these down as well, which is kind of nice. So they're the same ones available on both sides. We've got a little toolbar at the bottom, so our build screen, different categories, for example. Um, plant, but we don't have that technology. Work areas, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Manage over here gives you access to a bunch of different screens. They're all linked to the various hotkeys. First of all, F1 is your help, which is very, very helpful. Um, and then we've got stats, resources, limits. We'll talk about that later on. And then, you know, charts and all kinds of different stuff that we can do. But right now we've got our teeny tiny little village. We've got our people in it. And yeah, we're gonna need to worry about food. Now, one of the cool things this game has is this primal vision mode, uh, which you can also activate by hitting the tab key on the keyboard. And this always pauses the game automatically for you. And what it does is it highlights all the points of interest around including like the, the animals that you can hunt and they are color coded based on difficulty. So way over here, we have, for example, 
a Wooly Rhino. Very dangerous because it's in red. Uh, as opposed to the uh, Megalosaurus over here, which is a very easy huntable prey. So we can look into doing that. We do have some spears, so we can do a little bit of hunting if we want. Uh, we'll also highlight, you know, some things like plants over here. Just flax. We can't harvest this, unfortunately. But we do have some berries over here, so some raspberries. That sounds pretty good. Now, what you can do to set up a harvest, if it was the right season, I could go and click here to collect berries, and one of my people will go and decide to do that. The other thing you can do is you can select a person and right-click on them to do a job. Like, I could tell Gorkle to go fishing by simply right-clicking on the fishing area over here, or I can click on the fishing area and say fish. So those are two different ways that you can assign jobs. If you just, you know, click here, someone's gonna go over there and fish, or you can tell a specific person to do it. The other thing you can do, rather than set up these individual things, is you can set up uh, areas for work. So, for example, I can say, listen, I wanna make a fishing area over here. And this is gonna be sort of permanently creating jobs. See, it already assigned a fishing job over here. I can say, I always want, uh, try to have two people, well, maximum, two people working in this area, and fish until you have 10 raw fish kicking around. We don't need too much raw fish. We're gonna be looking to dry the fish as, as quickly as possible. So he's trying to fish using a spear over here as well as he can, and when he, if he succeeds, he's gonna bring that back to our little village. Excellent. So let's go and set up a few more work areas. Um, early on, we're gonna to wanna to gather some sticks because we use that for construction. As you move around, you can see those little chevrons there showing you where a valid area is. So we'll say we'll put you over here, and uh, yeah, we'll just, you know, maximum of one person is gonna be okay. Is there any music I just realized? Oh, I don't think I can access the option screen from here. I'm just realizing it's a little bit uh, quiet. I don't think the music is playing. I may have my settings set a little wrong. We'll see. Hello, Birdie. Um, well, the other thing we would like is we would certainly like some um, harvesting of wild plants. There we go. So what is this over here? We got blueberry bushes. Again, we're out of season right now. It's going to come in the summer. But what I'm going to do is in the summer, I'm going to want like up to say four people going out here and picking these berries. We want to pick berries as aggressively as possible when it's in season. So we've got some more options over here. These are some of the raspberries. I'm gonna do the same thing. I can't quite see my flag. Where did I put? Oh, there it is. Right there. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna allow up to four people to do that. Pick as many berries as you can while they're in season and we will rely on that for nutrition. All right, so let's look at our little camp over here. So we've got these tents. Each one of these can fit three people. You know, they're, they're fine. They're okay. They store People can store a little bit of food in there, raw fish, raw meat. But we've got a crafter station over here. And we can craft a variety of things. So right now uh, we can craft skin outfits as well as wooden harpoons, wooden spears, and bifaces. Um, and you can queue them up. I can say, you know, I can queue a variety of jobs over here like this. Um, but the other thing you can do if you right click, you can set automated production of these on. And what'll happen is these things will be produced until you hit the limit. So the limit screen over here determines those numbers. Now for some of these, they're absolute numbers. Like for example, for raw fish, by default, we limit it to 10, which is why those job locations, we're using that. But for other things, like for example, our tools, we are gonna try to produce based on a percentage of the population. Um, so for, you know, spears, we're trying, we're currently trying to try to have 100%. Everyone in our, in our we're gonna try, try to have one spear for every person in our village. But other things, you know, 50%, we might look at that and we can tune those numbers. So I'm gonna start those jobs and that's gonna be okay. We'll get them going and just make sure that everyone is equipped with as much stuff as possible. Now those bifaces have to be made from flint. So we are gonna want to, there we go, we got some flint over here, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna set up a little, uh, another job over here for um, obtained flint right there. And yeah, we'll just, you know, one as a limit is fine and just try to keep some flint around and that's gonna be a-okay. So you might be wondering at this point, how do we get technology? Well, we get technology just by doing stuff. I'm gonna go and increase this up to times eight speed. As we fish, as we hunt, as we do various things, we will automatically get some tech points. Actually, hunting's a good point. Uh, you do get a tech point for the first kill of any particular type of animal. Um, so we can flag, try to hunt this wild horse, which might be a little tricky, I don't know. Uh, go after this uh, Megalosaurus. Um, and then over here, we've got uh, ooh, more horses. We'll do one of those. There's a male Megalosaurus over here. Uh, if we could spot some sheep at some point. Mouflons, they're pretty easy to hunt and uh, we might do that. So we'll get the first hunt of any one of those will give us some points. The first time you build a particular building, but also just for like, you know, yeah, collecting a certain number of fish and berries and whatever. Those will all give you technology points. Just surviving the winter can give you technology points as well and allow you to continue to progress. 
So we've got our crafter over here. He's making ourselves our spears and whatnot. Now, what kind of other buildings can I build right now? So the residence is just a tent. I could consider, and I think I will, in fact, uh, build another tent to give us a little population cap. So we might get some more people who join us. That's going to be okay. Um, we are going to want a storage tent. We've got a wood pile. We've got a rock pile. I'm going to put a storage tent. I'm going to put it over here near the crafter and whatnot. Um, and then production... Ah, there we go. Skin dryer. Hey, there we go. We hunted our wild horse plus one knowledge. So, let's right over here. I'm going to build maybe two of these. So this will allow us to dry skins from our hunting into better stuff. We might be able to hunt you. Um, apparently the game will automatically send you know, an appropriate number of people to hunt things based on the difficulty. This is a donkey. There. Hunt that. Okay. So build this, build this. That's going to be okay. Uh, for production, I had a hearth, the crafter. Yeah, we've got all that sorted out. That's good. So we'll go back up to a fairly high speed. We'll let everyone do some work. There we go. Gathering some sticks. Used for a lot of crafting. No storage slots left. Oh, probably for these things. Is complaining about that there's no storage. So some things have escaped. They outran us. That's going to happen. But yeah, if we can get this built up, that would be nice. We'll need sticks for the dryers so that we can make the hides. We can set up a hunting area. And depending on how many people are assigned to it, they will sort of hunt the appropriate beasties. Yeah, not really... Um... I mean, there's all these horses over here. We could bulk flag them, but it feels like hunting horses might be a little difficult, doesn't it? I mean, they're horses. They're going to run fast. Oh, you caught something. Go into the tent. Looks like you're hauling some skins. A bunch of orcs over here. Yeah, but they're not as easy as we might hope. There's that donkey that we've sort of hit, but he's really far away. So yeah, we'll stick next to base. If you do lose your base, just hit the uh, the return key, the enter key, and that'll send you back. Uh, the camera will go back to the base here. So we're halfway through spring. Goes really fast. And there's no day-night cycle. Sometimes people do get tired, and they um, um, and they come and rest in their tents and whatnot. Probably should have. You know what? Let's prioritize this dryer here, or these dryers. I guess prioritize the whole class. We want this to get built first. Um, the gathering job. Hang on, where's the gathering flag? Oh, right over here. I'm going to allow, since this does cap out to 10, I'm going to go ahead and allow more people to work and gather sticks. They're only going gonna to stop automatically when they get to 10 sticks in storage, but um, when we are building like this, let's try to get that going. Yeah, yeah, no storage slots left. I know! Wait, um... We don't have a rock pile, I just realized. Is this is this where we store flint? Maybe that's what it's complaining about. I thought the game normally started you with one. Do we actually have to, like... Okay, I don't think it takes any material. It just takes a little bit of construction time. Required some flint. Get some knowledge from that. That's great. We're at four knowledge. We need five to unlock our first things. Some people are cooking some of their food over here. You can cook bread if you if that's something that like becomes available. But I think when people make a meal, they always go to the hearth for it. There we go. First structure. Uh, first time we build a skins drying place. So that brings us to five knowledge. So now we can finally unlock something. So we got a lot of options. We can unlock bone tools, which also leads to composite tools over here. So there's where you get your flint, spears, axes, and picks, which is really nice. We can unlock slings, which uh, will give us a new type of hunting, basically. Make things maybe a little bit better. Um, food drying is really nice. We're going to want this before the winter so that we can dry fish and meat so it stays preserved. That's going to be a really, really high value job. Can unlock dog domestication. Dogs will just start showing up. They will eat our scraps. They will help defend the base. And that's basically that. And it's awesome. I don't think we have to rush it, though. Tanning lets us make leather. And then spirituality lets us build some spiritual buildings to increase our morale. Um, I think what I'll do is I will start by unlocking food drying. Um, and the reason for that is, yeah, we're going to just try to start storing some things before winter. This thing needs some fuel. I think you can use sticks for fuel. It's got a log, log icon, but I think sticks can be used. There we go. We're drying this stuff. That's going to be really good. Here, let's set the high priority on the rock pile. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got people are bringing a bunch of stuff, but it's just lying around. I bet you it will. Most resource tool decay over time. Also, accelerate tools are in use. Resources stored in structures. Yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff that's not being stored inside of structures. Hey, we're acquiring some berries now because it is summertime. Um, and as a result, it might just decay. There we go. Our rock pile is now done. But yeah, I don't think that was the issue. I think the issue is the fact that we don't have the tent here. But now that we are drying skins, we should get a tent hopefully soon. We're just waiting for a few more of these skins to go. Milestone unlocked, hunting and gathering knowledge. Ooh. A little screenshot of our base. It feels like it should be like a little cutscene with something going on, but it's just this. But we have, yes, we have hunted, we have gathered. So we've got three knowledge stored up. We're getting there. These guys are very huntable. There we go. Everyone's going out. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have got, set so many to be hunted. Oh, you're building the tent first. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. Because we need this, and then we need to install the food dryer. Look at pears. No, no, don't cut down the tree. But do collect this fruit. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, see? I, uh, I shouldn't have set the tent up before the storage tent. Although, the tents can store a little bit of stuff. We got some bones in there. I think from people having eaten meals. Or from boning in the tent. Ah! And we do have some music going on now. That's nice. It's still pretty low, but it is nice that it's happening. And yeah, tons of things were killed, but people are finally coming back. Where are you going, child? You're just wandering around. Build, build, build. There we go. Okay, all the materials here. I like how the pelts are different sizes, too. But yeah, this is going to fix our storage problem. So now we're going to go to production. We're going to get a food dryer. Um, and yeah, I'll keep it near here because the food will get stored in the tent. Maybe sort of in a line like this. It's not quite lined up, but ish. And we've got some more technology unlocked. Good. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like going all the way up to composite tools. Also give us access to axes, which will let us chop down trees. Ooh, someone's a little tired over here. Yeah, I, I may have flagged a little bit too much hunting. But that's okay. All right. Anything in the tent yet? Just some clothing, that's nice. We do have the automatic clothing production over here. It's interesting, there's a skins outfit, then there's a leather outfit over here, which needs tanning. But if I recall correctly, I think it's one star warmth, one star style. I don't know if they stack. Maybe they do. Maybe it's two layers of clothing. I don't know. But yeah, the food dryer is going to be good, especially with all the hunting we're doing here. So we can start prepping for the winter. And this is just set up. It's, it's going to queue to infinite cure meat and dry fish, which is good. Resources decayed, fruit. Someone is critically tired over here. And hungry. Go ahead and get yourself a rest. And then run around for a while. Bone tools, yes, they've been unlocked. So over the crafter, we can stop producing wooden spears and harpoons. Actually, I'll turn this off. I don't think they've been produced for a while but we can upgrade to slightly better versions of the hunting and fishing tools. Actually, let me turn these off too. We're just gonna wait until we get the flint ones. I would say. So it's fall, we take a look at our stats as our prestige. The higher this is, the more immigrants will come to visit us. Morale is okay too. Overall, it's going fine. You're hungry, but we've got food, right? We've got five meat. Actually, we don't have quite as much as I thought. That's fishing tools. Maybe we don't have much in the way of fish. We do have fishing aside now, though. Maybe the meat just still has to be collected from wherever. That is entirely possible. Uh, we're loading up on flint over here. It will stop at 10. Trader has arrived. Hello. So what do you got for me? You've got tannins. You've got dry skins, logs, bone, pulses. Maybe what I'll do is I will go ahead and buy your pulses over here. So low commission, that's nice. I will send sell you. I will sell you 
all my old wooden tools. I still need the biface because I haven't unlocked better knives yet. And we'll just buy uh, whatever. Here, we, we don't have access to tannins. Maybe we'll take the dry skins though for now. Ooh, or they're super valuable. There you go, do something like that. So we'll sell some old tools and get some resources, including some food, which will probably be kind of a high value thing. We don't know how to like harvest pulses yet, but we can sure eat them, I'm assuming. There you go. Get everything in there, storing some stuff, empty, upgrade to a storage hut if we've got thatching. Excellent. Oh, this guy's hurt. Oh, mouflons are pretty easy to hunt too. I would certainly like to like, there you go, finish off the hurt one. There we go, that gives us some knowledge too, because it's the first time we've hunted one of those. And one thing I can do is let's say we place a hunting area sort of just here, because animals tend to wander in and out, say, of over here. And I'm going to assign a maximum of two. So I think they won't hunt anything that's extremely dangerous because it goes above their like number of people they've got going around. I think they're mostly smart. Oh, Ibex is our first one. So we'll just sort of auto flag animals that come nearby to sort of constantly be hunted. Raw skins times 10 Ibex. Oh, that's knowledge of five. Yeah, and what I want to do here is I want to unlock composite tools. So we'll start making flint tools and things. So we've got access to a flint spear, a flint axe, wood cutting and fighting. So we can finally start cutting down trees and a flint pick. Uh, I guess we still need a bone harpoon for fishing actually. Okay. So we've got a permanent queue on all of those. That's going to be fine. And I guess we can start harvesting stone. Uh, this is not the button I want. I want an area for stone harvesting. And yeah. So if we get picks, we can start working at that. We might get a few complaints that we don't have picks yet. Acquired 10 times bones, knowledge plus one. How's our food situation? We got a lot of raw meat. I might want to build a second food dryer. I don't know, it's set up. It's probably okay. I don't know how they prioritize what order they eat food in. I mean, I would hope, oh, that is so cute, the woolly rhino. Um, I would hope that they eat like fresh food first, stuff that, that isn't preserved or can't be preserved but I actually don't know if that's something that we have any control over. Not that, I'm drying this, composite tools, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothing, yep. When it's warm, your people will prefer to wear leather or linen outfits. These increase welfare levels. Oh, and offer slight protection in combat, I see. And these are for warmth. Okay, well, we've got, we've got clothing for warmth. That's gonna be okay. We've got hungry people, we've got tired people. It is now winter. We can still fish, we can still hunt. I don't know where all our people are. I don't know if there's a hotkey um, to cycle between people. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? We can cycle between work areas. Hunter and fighter. Yeah, you can't just hit H or I, but when you're box selecting, if you hold H or I, there you go. If I held H, it only selected the hunters here as opposed to the other person that was in the area. Yeah, we have no picks, I know, but we'll, we'll get there. There you go, flag some more hunting over here. I think this is an okay way of doing it. Keep the trickle of meat going on whenever there's someone who's not too far. You're tired, what are you doing, are you fishing? No, you're going after a boar right now. We do have a crafter going on. And yeah, if we can upgrade tools. So I'm assuming people will auto upgrade their tools if there's a better one available and they'll put the old one in storage, but I don't know. I was a little tired. Um, our housing, we do have some capacity for more people. Boar has escaped. Developing slings might actually help our hunting a lot. Now again, we will get, I believe, some knowledge just at the end of winter. Ooh, cured meat times 10. That's some more knowledge there. Excellent. We can dry a lot of stuff simultaneously. Actually, a bunch of these just triggered to cure meat, so they'll presumably get unloaded here. I might limit just to just one hunter on the automatic job. Then we can manually flag some stuff. Where are you going? Going after boar. First animal hunted boar, knowledge plus one. Excellent. Got some flint over here. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to just like flag another flint area in case one of the others goes away. We still have a limit 
we have no flint. Oh, there we go. Uh, we still have a limit to how much we grab. Is it possible that the flint nearby ran out? Oh, there's some more flint there. I think that may have actually happened. Uh, not stone. Flint. Flint. Yeah, we got the stone harvesting over here, but yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit more flint. So we can keep making our tools. We've got some axes. We do have some picks now. Yeah, that's why we ran out of flint, because we went we went and made all the tools, which is great. That's exactly what we want. <gasps> Two new people just joined the settlement. Hooray! Alright, winter's nearly over. We're still really good on food. So surviving the winter is fine. What I'll probably do is build a bunch of new tents. I don't know where to build them. Maybe we'll build a row of tents sort of over here. Residence tent. Rotate you around. Why can't I put you here? Invalid location. Maybe because it's a slope. And I'll leave little gaps just to make sure people can walk. Oh, there we are. Sort of like a little V over here. So that might be a little overkill on the housing. That's fine. Ooh, you're cold. Are you wearing warm clothes? You have no clothing. You might be someone who just joined us. Survive the winter. Knowledge plus one. Hooray. Because we do have the repeat job for that. I'll turn on the leather one. Not that we have the, uh, the, the goods for it. I'm going to turn off the by face. Oh, we need stone polishing to activate this. I'll turn that on in case we... Whenever we get the, the, the tech for it. Oh, you're hurt. Let's finish you off. Oh, it might be the, these cave bears. Uh, that's a little scary. I know the cave bears can definitely attack people. And possibly if you get too close to their actual home. I don't know. You're hungry. You're miserable. Your morale's low. We need to research some um, some religion, I think. Hunted ancient bison plus one. Oh, there we go. Um, so as much... Oh, there's so many things I want to research. But yeah, let's make sure people are a little happier. We're going to unlock spirituality. Boom! And there's not a lot we can do with spirituality for now. Uh, oh, we can build a totem. Ooh, interesting. All right. Let's... Um... Maybe we'll build it in here, next to all the skin and animal drying, actually. And what the heck, let's go and also build a skull pole. Boom. Get all the items. So people can go there, they can sort of worship and pray, and I think it boosts up their, um, their morale. We have a storm coming in. Okay. more good. So we got nine people. Capacity's going up. I don't know if they only join like in the spring or what's going on. Yeah, you're pretty miserable right now. Um, this Ibex here. You hunted. Low stamina. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hunt for much further. There you go. I guess we must have already done ten fish. I don't know. I don't know if it's every ten you get one or we just hadn't gotten it yet. What are you? Cave lion. Yeah, let's not hunt you. You're going to get some flint way over here. I mean, we need a pretty consistent supply of flint, especially with more people here. Yeah, morale keeps being pretty low, but hopefully these will get built. Just need some sticks, which still need to be collected. So the stick gathering area over here. Oh, are you out of sticks? I think so. If we edit, we can move you over here. There we go. Oh, I had not realized that. No fuel yet, because we were probably out of sticks. Um... No, nope, not wild. Well, actually, that's not so bad. Wild plant area. We may have already had that. I don't know. But gather sticks. Maybe sticks keep falling off trees. It's possible. So they might they might kind of replenish over time. But there we go. That's something like, why isn't anything being built? You're going to go and cook some food now. Yeah, you're super miserable. Build the totem so you can pray. Cave bear attack. Oh no! Shh. Oh god. There's not like a select all. Is there? Because it might be nice to 
just like get everyone to go and attack the cave bear or something right now. Hunter and fighter selection is only working as like a modifier here. Um, I guess I can like sort of double click to select everyone, but hmm. I suppose what I can do is just flag you to be hunted. Uh, oh, they didn't die. We still have our nine pop. We did hunt a cave bear. I'm gonna go and flag. These are little cave bear youngs. Yeah, let's um, let's let's clear the area of cave bears. Hunt cave bear plus two knowledge. Hell yes. I mean, we have slightly better spears kicking around, so that's going to be part of it. All right, we've got our totem. Oh, no, it's still being constructed. Don't be miserable. We just killed the bear. Yeah, another cave bear has escaped, but that's, that'll have to be okay. Yeah, the uh, morale's low. Totem constructed. Knowledge increased. Nice. Let's go... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I'm going to get tanning. Because we actually do have a little bit of material for it. Unlocks Tanner where you can produce leather. That sounds really good. Uh, Tanner. Oh, it's just a little outdoor thing. It's not even a proper building. Put it here. Near the resource tent. Near where we're, we're drying pelts. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. Raw skin, dry skin. We may need to dry skin a little faster. We might want to set up a few more drying stations. I don't know. Oh, it's a trader again. Um, all right, let's sell our wooden harpoons. Wooden spears. Uh, we still don't have the ability to build better knives. Although those are just spare by paces, so. Oh no, bone harpoons gotta stay. That's right. Let's get the tannins, which I think we actually collect from trees. There we go. I don't know what we're going to do with straw, but we'll trade for it. Um, place work area. Collect tannin. Yeah. So tannin something. I don't know if I want to double up. Yeah, sure. So that means effectively two people work, but there's still there's still a cap. And we can spread things around. Oh, we got knowledge from uh, from collecting the pulses. That's actually very handy. So we got a huge population cap available. We got tons of material sitting around. People are coming back. We got sticks, which we still sort of had a chronic shortage of. Um, both of our little worship things are set up. If we take a look at our stats, our morale, yeah, 56%. Or, well, that's welfare, actually. So it's a collection of things. But part of it is probably because our morale was low, but it's starting to accumulate. You are mostly walking around naked. We would like to get some clothing going on. Uh, we've got the tanner set up, so he's going to be tanning leather goods, which is going to be okay. And yeah, we do have the job on for leather outfits. So we'll try to produce some of those for people as well. Okay. Um, we're fairly good. We don't have a ton of fish. Oh, it is summertime. Are we actively collecting all of the berries and things that we could be? Peas, which you can't do. Lentils, barley, cherry trees. Oh yeah, then it selects all the trees instead of just the cherry trees. Chestnut. I mean, there must be some more berries kicking around here. Without having to go a million miles away, which I'm trying to avoid. Or go towards too many bears over here. No, that's more peas and things. Yeah, we're not in a very berry-rich environment. Okay, well, I guess it's fine, because we can... We're still basically making do with hunting. That's kind of our primary food source. Going to bank. We've got the fishing as well. Maybe your people are mostly eating fish than anything else. Um, yeah, we have we allow up to two, which seems like it's fairly reasonable to limit it that way. This, the drying rack is also full. There we go, making the leather. And maybe that's it. Maybe it's, there's just a little bit of backlog between, you know, drying the food, 
trying to skins. Maybe I should increase that. Um, our storage tent, it feels like more of this stuff could be stored inside here. There are some empty slots. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for people to do stuff. Where are you going? Oh, collecting flint, which we do need. Oh, blueberries and raspberries. There we go. Collect these before the end of summer. There we go. There may have been a collecting a collection area for that already. I'm not sure. Strawberries. There we are. Yeah, we want all those things picked up, please. So as usual, I'm probably just queuing up way too many jobs for my population. Okay, capacity of 18. We got tons of room now. Clearly overkilled it, but hey, there's no such thing as too much overkill. So making the leather outfits for people like, ooh, these things. Oh, there's some repair every now and again. But it did auto queue that job, which is nice. Collecting the tannins over here. Which, you know, just once, so we gotta, we gotta keep collecting that stuff. The tannins get used over here. Yeah, one, one pelt, one tannin equals leather. All right. Hunting, we hunted five megalosauruses. Um, speaking of, there are some more over here. I guess I could do that. Yeah, we'll leave some of them be. But we still need to hunt a little bit more variety of animals. I don't know about being so close to these cave bears. Um... If some sheep could wander around here, that would be really good for some extra points. Resources decayed bread. Hmm. Some more sticks. More clothing. There we go. Plus one knowledge from having hunted another boar. Um, dogs for the fence. I think I'm kind of going to go and get some slings, though. But who doesn't want dogs? Dogs are awesome. F it. Let's get some dogs. Maybe they'll keep the bears away. So what's cool about this is dogs will just, just show up. They'll just start arriving. You don't need to feed them. They feed themselves off the scraps. Leftovers from humans. It's okay. And they just passively help protect our base. Raw skins, dry skins, leather. Okay, I guess you make leather out of raw skins. So we don't need more dryers. We get a combination of things. Do you... And we might want to set some limits. Uh, leather outfit times 10 plus 1 knowledge. Stone times 10 plus 1 knowledge. So people should be... So you're wearing the leathers for now. And in theory, we might have some extra clothes somewhere else that we can switch into for warmer clothes. I don't know. Things are decaying. Yeah, I think more people are upgrading their tools. So yeah, we get the pelts, we get the meat, we get the bones. Oh, three new set humans. Population reached 10, plus three knowledge. Some of your citizens in no warm clothing. Yeah, well, they just joined us. So we need 15 tech to unlock the Mesolithic period. We'll go ahead, though, and we will unlock the sling making. Um, I don't know if you need to finish everything from the previous era to move forward, but I figure why not. Uh, so is that part of the crafting job? Oh, it is. There we go. So we'll enable that. So that turns some, I think, the dried things into two slings to get a little bit more efficiency. And people might use that for slightly better hunting. So it's a two-star hunting tool, um, as opposed to the flint spear, which is also a two-star, and it's good for fighting. But it's, the slings are cheap, so that might be part of the incentive there. I don't know. Yeah, we can't get the blueberries anymore because it's out of season. You're still going collecting some flint from way over there. Um, is there is there a way to check like the amount of flint available? Yeah, see, it's, it's going down. A trader has arrived again. What I think I'll do is I will set up another flint area over here. Because we do keep needing a, a constant supply. Mr. Flint, or Mr. Trader, I'm going to trade you a wooden spear. I probably want to buy these leathers. They're very valuable. Skins outfit, this, this. I don't know. Let me just buy some food. Average commission. Yeah. Do that. Um, did I ever set up a tree chopping area? I don't think I have. 
Um, let's do the ones by the water here, because they don't tend to be very berry rich, it feels. So yeah, we'll do that. Big piles of rocks. We got some sticks here. We do have some logs I think we traded for. I think that's about it. And some food. Oh, we got a couple people working over here. Yeah, we've got new people, so it just skewed up a ton of jobs to get all those guys done. Um, what I'll do is I'll cancel the buy face for now. And yeah, we'll make sure the skin's outfit gets put in the queue first. This is automatically going to requeue those. Maybe when it finished the skins. We could have changed the order again, but that's okay. We'll leave it there. Because it is winter now. We might have some very cold people. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, we still have some meat just sitting around. I think I will set up another food dryer. Is there a button to like... I'm going to high priority the whole thing. Um, I was going to say a button to just copy something. But I don't know. Uh, we'll leave a little gap so people can walk. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll get it in there. Because I think there's a lot of raw stuff just sitting around. And there's not enough place to dry it. So we'll do that. By face is time 10. That's some more knowledge. So right now, since um, we finished all the baseline knowledges, we just have to wait a while to get the next tier. So we need 15 tech for that. Uh, we're good on stone, we're good on this. Hey, we got a dog! I don't think we can name them. It's the only unfortunate bit. Can butcher them if things get uh, a little bit dire. Ooh, focus camera. Not that there's... Can I rotate the camera? Oh, I can. We acquired 100 sticks, knowledge plus one, and there's a cave bear attack again. Um, ooh, I didn't th don't think it focused correctly because maybe the mode I was in. Um, We go okay there all right it did get killed right, we're gonna send some more hunt jobs over here on the bears even the youngins not 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 just the, the bears but the wool bears and the child bears as well we might be able to hunt like a young cave lion that'd probably give us as our first cave lion kill that would probably give us a fair amount of knowledge. Logs time 10, knowledge plus 1. We got a lot of hunting jobs out that's going to keep people maybe a little too busy. There you go, second drying rack, and it's in use. I, that, that pleases me greatly. You're grabbing some more stone. What's the, uh, I'm sure we don't have an unlimited stone thing. Yeah, it's 10. But we got 12 stone. Not sure why you went and grabbed it, but okay. Cave bear times 5, knowledge plus 2. Nice, okay. So we're just going to keep this video going, I think, until we hit the next era. Uh, I don't know. Have we hunted any buffalo? Or bison? Bison, buffalo. Bison low. Attacking cave lion. There you go. Plus one knowledge from that. Megalosaurus escaped. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll let people sort of catch up with this backlog of stuff here. So chop down the trees. Looks like we get both sticks and logs from chopping. Survive the winter, we get more knowledge, temperature's coming up. So good on food, resources keep going up. Drying a lot of stuff simultaneously, very, very nice. There you go, milestone unlocked, survival knowledge plus two. Some adult cave lions, which we'll probably hold off on. Um, at some point we probably, you know what, let's, let's go and kill this woolly mammoth. No, it's gonna run away way too far. Cancel. Because I want to get the um, I want to get the knowledge from you know hunting some, all the new stuff, but I don't want to run a mile a million miles away to do it. Ten is time ten more knowledge there. We're at eleven. Oh, we're really close to unlocking the next era. And I think it's just this that's going to be super expensive. I think these, yes, yeah, seven knowledge, seven, and it's always three times. So this is going to be yeah fifteen. I don't know. Just walking through a base. I don't know if I've done a bison. I'm going to flag you. We've hunted five blue flans. Excellent. Now, you can start domesticating animals at some point. Which we will look into. And then the map's pretty big. I think, like, all the starting areas that were available on this map are here. 
And for all I know, if we keep looking around, we'll actually see other tribes. Maybe at the other places where I could have started. Like you can see, we're just going and going and going. I have Ancient Bison attack. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh no! We died! Arca has been killed! Rip. Uh, Alright, uh, do we still have any old tools to trade? Not really. Well, the bifaces. I don't know if we've got fancier knives. I think I'm okay with not trading. I mean, I could sell you some bones or something, but we'll put them to use at some point. It's gonna be okay. I'm surprised we didn't get knowledge for, like, first death. Get some dogs. Another ancient bison attack. Okay, we got two people fighting. There we go. Dunned. Oh, oh. oh, these are the milestones. Oh! Uh, hunting and gathering. Okay. Survival, two years. Humble beginnings. Unlock mesothelic. Expansion is 20. Crops. Ah! All the way to get 100 people in your settlement for the final milestone. No, no storage slots. We got 100 raw meat we have collected over time. So, are you actually full? You are truly and properly full. Now, I know we'll be able to upgrade you to a better one, but maybe I'll go ahead and just build a second storage tent as well. Right behind the other one? Maybe over here. Um, there's not really room for it, is there? All right, we'll put it there. It's not, I don't know, it doesn't please me aesthetically, but that'll have to do. Is this a pack of wolves? A little terrifying. Oh, okay, from far away, I was like, is this a unicorn? <laughs> Look at this. Donkey. I don't know if we hunted donkeys. You get a point from that. Bum, 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 bum. Got dogs hanging around. Leather times 10. That's plus one knowledge. There we go. We only need one more knowledge. Wooly Rhino. Let's see what we can do. All right, we've refueled that. Building this, making the leathers. Hunt the donkeys. The donkeys and the rhinos. Come on, you can do it. You guys are tough. Stamina's wearing down. There you go. First donkey and uh, the rhino is attacking. Looking for some vengeance. Oh no! Oh my god, these things have a lot of hit points. But what we can do is we can go to the Mesolith Mesolithic era. Ah. So this unlocked pottery. All right, pottery unlocked. Uh, transport and store water. A lot more efficient than having people going to a water source every time. Yep, okay, we've got that. Humble beginnings. Transportation. Transports will greatly increase the efficiency of your settlement. Some resources like logs, stone, blah, 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 are heavy and difficult to carry around. Only adults can transport these at very slow speed, one at a time, with a penalty to morale. Sledges and carts solve this problem. They allow you to transport heavy resources, uh, several heavy resources at a time, a lot more efficiently. All right. But also... Did we... Maybe we just unlocked a new craft here. Does pottery by itself do anything? Perhaps not. Should have storage slots now. Hornak has been killed. Yep. And we did hunt that other that other mammoth though. But yeah, now now we know things can be a little bit bad. Uh, but that that's okay. I don't know if we lost some prestige for losing someone or not. But in theory, more people are still going to join us. You're pretty miserable. So people are pretty sad that their you know their friends are dying. Um, is there a new type of harvesting? Oh, we can extract water. Right. 
So maybe we just have pottery. So now we can store water at home in a more efficient form. Cut down trees. So these, yeah, these are the same jobs as before. What are the other jobs over here? Extract mud and mine ores. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not getting any warnings that we don't have pots or anything to, like, store water, so that might be okay. Dog barking. Oh, here we got our blueberries. It is the season. Set up some bulk um, fruit harvesting over there. Berry harvesting. I suppose what I could do is just make sure that like I've got um, like the harvesting jobs. There we go, all over the place where there is stuff to collect. Not too far away. There's a bunch of stuff over here. I don't know. We may or may or may not have already had a job in those areas. Oh, there's some fruit trees over here. There we go. Done. New humans, population reached 15, knowledge plus three. Okay, that gives us enough to unlock something. Um, stone polishing lets us get a, uh, a, our first improved knife in a long time. No. It's required for, wait. It's required for flint sickle flint knife. Okay, and then it leads to more technology, but I think it gives us the sickle and knife right away. Archery for sick, good hunting, maybe. Grain as well. There's our sledge there to carry stuff around. I don't know. Archery sounds pretty cool. Best hunting tools in the Stone Age. So, yeah, we'll enable that. We'll turn off the sling. I guess we need to keep the uh, flint spear around for fighting. But yeah, it's a three-star hunting tool. So a lot of jobs queued up because we have a lot of new people. We've acquired 10 water, so yeah, we are in fact storing water. Wolf attack. Going after dog. How dare you. Everyone. Get in here. But the thing is, the wolf probably, or the dog probably protected us from the, the wolves attacking someone else. That's entirely possible, but the dog survived. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll be looked after here. Yeah, his health's coming back up. That's good. Um, no more flint over here, so I guess it does auto clear the um, the work area. That's good to know. Hunted some more donkeys. Yeah, the dog's getting better. He's no longer at like critical health level. Twenty three. Yeah. All right. Good puppy. Good dog. Of course, all dogs are good dogs. So you're drying. We might, we might want to set up some more drying racks for the pelts. How are we looking here? Yeah, we've got 12 raw skins. I think we will. I'm going to set up another couple here by this tent. Your morale is low, but you should recover it by doing some praying here. There you go. And yeah, that'll be good. So we're still doing a fair amount of hunting. Clothing should mostly be okay. I'm actually wondering about setting up a second crafter. I don't know how, how often... We sort of fall behind here. I'm going to turn off... Well, I guess we can still sell the bifaces for now. It's going to be okay. Sickles. So I think we can start to harvest other plant types. But yeah, at some point we can get into farming. And that's going to be really, really, really strong. Really, really, really strong. I think I'm going to increase the number of people who can fish. I don't know if it's only one per fishing area or not. In which case, two might be the effective limit, but I'll go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Because we never we never collect a lot of fish. I mean, maybe we don't need it, but we've got the other meat, but I think it'll still be a good idea to do that. So yeah, with it, all the drying places are being used pretty effectively here. I think we're going to be happy to have that. There you go, you're building bows like crazy. Once those have all been issued to people, then we can potentially start hunting some more aggressive stuff. Young dog, got some puppies. And yeah, you can build walls and gates and things later on. Like if we take a peek at some of the tech tree stuff, right? Later on we got steel making, you know, steel swords and things. 
hydropower, reinforcements, baking, composite archery, sword making, brewing. I guess, yeah, Bronze Age over here, brewing, hello. And yeah, so we get domestication of various things here. So we get goat, sheep, pig, cattle. Here we get donkey, and we can make the wheel, so we get some quartz, some, some carts rather, and horse domestication, which feels pretty good, and masonry. Um, I don't know like how extensive the late game is. I don't know how, oh, this guy's got a sledge now. Um, going on. Um, I don't know, you know, how replayable things are, but I have to say I'm finding this very, 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 very lovely. Uh, we are playing, of course, on the, the normal difficulty, which is going to be tailored to be relatively easy and, and you know, playable for everyone. Uh, playing it on hard mode might be uh, really interesting to see how it goes, and in particular later on in the ages when there's actually warring between, like, raiders and other tribes or, or whatever. Um, I'm curious to see how that would go. Plus, like, how does your base look once you've got, you know, up to 100 people, and when you've got the uh, the fancier huts? By the way, when do we un unlock our next type of hut? Maybe with thatching? Required for hut. Yeah, there you go. So we go from tents to huts, and from storage tent to storage hut, when we get discover thatching, which is the next era. Berries... We've got 10 dry fish. Yeah, we've only done 10 dry fish now. I think people have been eating a lot of raw fish, like, during the summer when it's around. No storage slots left again. Yeah, it's, it's kind of filling up here. That's crazy. All right, we're doing a much better job. Yeah, we have no raw skins left anymore. Although, I guess with the leather, it does take raw skin. Yeah. So we might somewhat be interrupting our leather production here um, by drying it all. But I think it's okay. I don't know. Uh, do we have a limit? Here's here's a thing we could check. Um, leather unlimited. Dry skin is set to unlimited. We may not want to do that. Like, I might want to set a limit on dry skin so that we save some for leather and, and vice versa. I don't know. It's another winter. A lot of tools kicking around. Yeah, I, I, I very much feel like we're gonna need a new shed, a new storage tent. It's kind of amazing how much different crap we've got going on. Fishing poles, we can build actual fishing rods later on. It does group these, which is kind of nice. Knives, look how many different types of knives you can eventually get to. I don't know what the bonuses to higher tier knives are. But it seems like it'll be kind of useful. And yeah, we need seven for all these techs, huh? Yeah, stone polishing, underground mining. That'll be very interesting. Hmm, interesting that that wasn't getting butchered automatically. But another winter. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, for Dawn of Man... I think, I think it's a very lovely game. I, again, I'm, I don't know what the late game is going to be like. I don't know about the replayability. That's always one of the big things with uh, these guys over here. But other than that, I think it's quite spiffy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.